can peaceful protest really make a difference? Research shows that between 1900 and 2006, campaigns of nonviolent resistance were more than twice as effective as their violent counterparts. Even in oppressive, authoritarian conditions, protesters can tailor their campaigns to succeed. When large, nonviolent groups of people organize concentrated methods like protests, along with dispersed methods like boycotts or strikes, even the most brutal regimes have trouble stifling the resistance indefinitely. Meanwhile, movements that opt for violence often unleash terrible destruction to their communities, usually without achieving their goals. Because citizens can choose to either show up or sit out to support peaceful campaigns, nonviolence allows all kinds of people to participate in some form. Nonviolence is inclusive across gender, age, race, and class divides, so nonviolent campaigns have been on average four times larger than violent campaigns and lead to a better representation of the people, rather than just those in power. This presents not only a potential numbers advantage, but also a tactical one. While violent uprisings are mostly made up of able-bodied young men, nonviolent campaigns often include women, professionals, religious figures, or civil servants, and reduce the risk of violent crackdowns from security forces. So no matter where you live or who you are, your voice can be heard through nonviolent civil disobedience. And ensuring that all voices are heard, no matter the cause, is the only way to guarantee a truly civil society.